they listed the libero. We welcome you to Historic Case Arena here in Frankfort, Indiana tonight. It's part of our volleyball coverage on the ISC Sports Network. Tonight is a special presentation brought to you in cooperation with Frankfort Hot Dog TV. This will be a student-produced production tonight as we call to action for you. I'm Sean Walker, joined by Mike Walensky. As we get set here in Case Arena, Mike, I'm excited here tonight. I get to come back to my alma mater, call a little volleyball, work with the student crew. There's a lot of good things happening here tonight. Yeah, not only is it a historic Case Arena, but this could be an historic matchup, Sean, because in the Sagamore Conference, the Tri-West Bruins come in at 3-0, and and Frankfurt is 1-0. and This could determine who's going to reach the top of the conference. So this is a big matchup tonight between the Bruins and the Hot Dogs. Definitely got to stay unbeaten. Tonight's pregame show is brought to us by Fiberhawk. Now available Fiberhawk Internet, super fast speeds, no more buffering, perfect for all sizes of business. Fiberhawk offers every speed to meet your internet needs. For more on offerings and availability, go to fiberhawk.com or call 765-922-HAWK. Fast, affordable, Fiberhawk. I'll tell you what was fast tonight was that JV game. Tri-West came in and handled business earlier uh, with the junior varsity contest and came out with the victory. And their varsity team is looking to come in and steal one and stay unbeaten in the conference tonight. Well, what's helped them out is they've won some close ones last night. The Bruins took on Southmont in the Sagmore Conference, and they knocked him out in five, three to two. And I think the biggest victory, if you look back at Tri-West's schedule, is they beat uh, county rival Danville, which last year was undefeated in the conference. They beat him in five as well. So they are on a roll. Coach Aguilar has done a really good job. For Kia Rushton and Frankfurt, they played extraordinarily well, considering they lost uh, several players in Riley Isgrig and Avery Drew and Kimberly Kingman last year. But the key in this match could be the fact that two hot dogs will be out of the lineup. Bella Colby will be out, and even more importantly, Lindsey Gay, who's a leading uh, assist and a setter for Frankfurt, and they're going to have to go to a backup setter in Morgan Adamson, and she's going to have her hands full. She's going to have to really play well tonight for Frankfurt to have a chance to win. As Mike just alluded to, that's our IU Health injury report. When you look there, Lindsey Gay is out with a, con is a concussion. Isabel Colby, coach didn't tell us what the injury was there, so it's undisclosed but neither of those girls will be in tonight for the Frankfurt Hot Dogs. So they'll be a little un undermanned tonight on the hardwood. Tonight's injury health is brought to you by Indiana University Health, Arnett, and Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Those providers deliver high quality comprehensive care for soft tissues, bones, and joints. Visit them online at iuhealth.org backslash Arnett or call 448-8000 to schedule an appointment. Mike, as you alluded, Lindsey Gay being out, that is a huge hole that Frankfurt will have to fill. Coach feels pretty confident in the backup role. It's next girl up here for the Hot Dogs, and uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that plays out for him tonight. Well, again, it'll be incredibly important for Morgan Adamson to have a big game. On the flip side for Tri-West, they've got some really good athletes. Megan Duffy is hitting 384, one of the top 30 in the state. Ellie Patterson's having a really good year as well hitting 306, and uh, Lindsey Springer, their setter, is just 50 assists away from reaching 1,000 career assists during her career. So they've got a talented group of kids, and they're playing very well for Coach Aguilar's Bruins. Well, I tell you, it's important to have a good setter on your team. They lead the offense. They're like the quarterback out there on the floor when it comes to volleyball. It's going to do it for our Fiberhawk pregame show. We're going to step aside for the national anthem. When we come back, IHSAA Volleyball here on the ISC Sports Network. running a small business. Your hands are full. We can help. Fiberhawk partners with local companies by providing business class internet, phone, TV, and customized bundles to meet your needs. Our fiber powered system delivers reliable speed with enhanced security. Running a business is tough. Contact Fiberhawk today and let our expert team give you a hand.
We love to see you here at the Farmer's Bank. However, we know there are times you need to bank on your schedule, wherever you may be. With the Farmer's Bank mobile banking app, you can check balances, transfer funds, pay bills, and now you can also securely deposit checks with your smartphone by simply taking a picture of the check. Download our mobile banking app today. The Farmer's Bank, your local bank, your mobile bank, your bank for life. Oh my gosh! We are ripping fast today. <laughs> How hard can it be, right? These are now selling for about $3,500. So we're back to our old ways of pulling rocks. Act like idiots on camera, open cards, and talk about the hobby. Power. We all want it. We all need it. It not only lights our homes, but it drives our businesses. It strengthens our communities. It empowers us to make our own decisions. Today, we're giving power to more than 22,000 members. We're a homegrown, locally-based cooperative that does something the big electric companies won't, give safe, affordable, and reliable power to rural communities. We're Tipmont REMC, and our members have the power. We welcome you back here inside Case Arena. Tonight our lineup is brought to us by Healthy Communities of Clinton County Coalition. See for Tri-West there, Megan Duffy, L. Patterson, Lindsey Springer, McKenna Brahman, Jolie Owens, Madison Elam, and Jennifer Springer. You'll notice there's seven, only six take the court, but we've got the liberos listed on both sides as well because you don't know who's going to have the serve first. For the hot dogs, it's Ashley Timmons, Chloe Roberts, Allison Timmons, Tara Martinez, Morgan Adamson, who will be filling in for the injured Lindsey Gay, Macy Stewart, and Kylie Norman. Coach Kia Rushton for Frankfurt, the former hot dog plate at Franklin College, mentioned the fact that her hot dogs need to play quick off of their middle attack, be aggressive on serve reception, and of course the keys, uh, one of the keys to their success is for their new setter, Morgan Adamson, to play well in the stat of Lindsey Gay, who is, as Sean mentioned, out with the concussion, but I think maybe even the key player in this match for Frankfurt might be number five. Look for Ashley Timmons and Chloe Roberts to come up big. They've got to play well for Frankfurt to have a chance to win tonight. Roberts wears number seven, and uh, Ashley Timmons number five. That'll be a key uh, group for the hot dogs in tonight's match. Yeah, you talk about Ashley Timmons. She leads the team in kills with 89 on the season. And we saw a couple weeks ago when Frankfurt played against North Montgomery, and she definitely led the charge in that one. Uh, puts a good charge into the ball, as a matter of fact, against the Chargers that night. So a little play on words. And yeah, she does, and she's left-handed and very difficult to handle. When you talk about lefties, they seem to have a different kind of spin and approach to the ball. And her sister also is a factor. We talked about uh, in that North Montgomery match, she was shaken up a little bit with some back issues. And she will be key in this match to come out strong. She'll be wearing number 14, and that's Allison Timmons. She's a junior at 5'10". As you take a look at number 14, Allison Timmons, uh, one of the hot dogs up front. Be very key at the net. Try West, Sean, very good at blocking. They're very good up front. So the difference in this match might be who wins the battle of the net for these two clubs. I was going to ask you about that, maybe what some of your keys to victory looking at tonight's matchup would be uh, with these two teams. Well, first of all, Tri-West is a better hitting ball club. They're hitting 220 on the year. That's not too bad. Frankfurt has gotten better. They went from 164 to 175. They've got to win the net, and they have to do better with serve reception, and it all starts right now. So Tri-West will start out with serve here. Rally scoring, of course, in today's IHSAA volleyball, which means you will get a point every time the ball hits the floor. How about that? And the first one's up for the Bruins. And... Right off the bat, the Bruins hammer one home with a big swing, number two, Lindsey Springer, the 5'7", sophomore. Mike, one thing I noticed with this Tri-West team looking, it's a very balanced attack. They have four girls that have 67 or more kills on the season, so it's hard 
to just load one side or the other of the net and think you're going to line up and block one hitter. You got four of them coming at you for Louis Agu Aguilar's squad. Very solid. And, and that time they got one pass. Ellie Patterson, number 13, Sean. She's also played very well for the Bruins en route to their 3-0 quick conference start. So 1-1 one, one early score here in game number one from Case Arena in Frankfort, Indiana. Big swing there. And that is Allison Timmons. Number 14, the 5'9 junior, gets the point for the hot dogs. And right off the bat, we look at Morgan Adamson, the setter, with a nice back set. Very important for Adamson to have a fine match tonight. She was able to do that that time. Great serve there. Hits the top of the ticker tape. A little miscommunication, but the dogs stay with it. Bruins now on the attack. Right in the middle of the floor, and that one just out of bounds. Miss hit that time by the captain, Megan Duffy. Yeah, it's very important for Frankfurt to have that quick action in the middle, and Duffy coming from the middle half of the court for Tri-West. Tries to hammer that one down the middle and went long, and the dogs get a point. Ashley Timmons with a serve for Frankfurt. The dogs on a little bit of a rally here, 3-1. That one long as well. They will extend that lead to three now. 4-1 your score for Frankfurt. Jolie Owens with the hit long for the Tri-West Bruins. Owen wearing number six. Serve little end over end rotation. Owens Bruins. number six, by the way, 73 kills on the year. She leads the Bruins from the left side. That one played a little long. Frankfurt tried to take advantage. It was Chloe Roberts that made the play. However, I believe point here will go to Tri-West. Megan Duffy with the kill as Ashley Timmons came up to make that Allison Timmons came up to the net and blocked it out of bounds. Bruins get the big point. Jennifer Springer, the libero for Tri-West, checks in. Frankfurt able to handle the serve, but then misplay after the pass there. Lindsey Springer, an outstanding setter for Tri-West, also a very good server. But again, on the backside, Chloe Roberts with the kill for Frankfurt. I'll tell you what threw me for a loop there for a minute, Mike, is Morgan Adamson is wearing number six instead of number 15 as she's listed on the roster. <laughs> Frankfurt leading 5-3. Ashley Timmons has really improved her serving. She's up to 894 now for the year. Good dig there. Looks like uh, Frankfurt is into the net. So Tri West will get the point there. 5 4 your score. A little too soft that time was Jolie Owens. A substitution will take place. Owens will come out, and Ava Keck will check in. Sophomore for the Bruins. Substitution for Frankfurt as well is number 12, Kylie Norman. The 5 4 defensive specialist will be asked to give him a little offense here. Norman on the serve. Good great offense, block. but a great block there from Frankfurt. Great block by Martinez, number four. Did a really good job getting in the middle of the net. Got to play it over here. Miss hit from the Bruins. That'll give Frankfurt the point. And the Hot Dogs at five and four early on, doing a great job of being active, of moving the ball around. Seven four, your score. Hot Dogs on top by three here in game number one. Great wow. serve there, just rolled right off the libero's arm. Springer unable to, to play that one. Kylie Norman with a solid ace on the backside. Kylie that time pegged her own teammate. <laughs> Let's just issue a quick apology. Hey, remember when you Got me in practice the other day. <laughs> Build our lead a little bit. Nah, none of that was intended. Aguilar will give the sign here of who he wants to target. Springer will oblige. Set here. Frankfurt's got to get it over, and they do. Opportunity now for Tri-West. They go outside that time, and Madison Elam 
Frankfurt, drives that one into the net. Frankfurt really bailed out because Addison, the, Adamson, the setter, had a few problems out there, made a few mistakes, but her teammates overcame that. And then Tri West knocks in the net for the point for Frankfurt. Now here's where Tri West doesn't want to be because Chloe Roberts leads Frankfurt in aces in serving. And again, very active at the net for the Bruins as they get the kill from Elam, Madison Elam, number seven. Fortunate for the Bruins, they're able to run Roberts off the service line right away. Frankfurt unable to extend the lead. That was an opportunity to go on a small run there for Frankfurt. Set at the net. Let's play to. Nice diving effort. Yeah, that was As Morgan Adamson couldn't get there. Good effort there. But on the other side for Tri-West, good dig by number five. Jenna Hill is also serving. She's only 5'2", but she's a senior. Brings some leadership for the Bruins. Again, looking down the roster, some of these jerseys have changed a little bit as Macy Starrett is wearing number two for Frankfurt. Listed as number eight in the program, so a little confusion from way up here in the bird's nest. 9-8 now as Tri-West goes on a little bit of a run. Starrett is the individual that replaced Bella in the lineup for Frankfurt. I think we got a rotation there here against Frankfurt. You can tell, I, th I think that the uh, official could see it. Early on, he was, he was waiting for that call. He's kind of looking over at the Frankfurt bench if they to see if they were going to catch it. Then right as the serve was put into play. Now you can move around on the floor, but you have to wait till the ball is put in play, and you've got to be in your correct position as it starts. Great play there, nice pass and hammered home yeah. by Autumn Duffy. Lindsay Springer did a great job of back setting that. That's why she is just 50 assists away from the 1,000 assist level, an outstanding setter for the Bruins as they come racing from behind to take the lead. I apologize, that was L. Patterson that time. M multiple 13s listed for Tri-West. L. Patterson, the freshman, listed at five foot 11. And I was looking through the stats, Mike. Patterson is right there in a lot of statistical categories for Tri-West. Mm -hmm. Just a freshman, five foot 11, great size, young, and already playing well. That bodes well for the future for the Bruins. No doubt. We've been seeing a lot of volleyball programs throughout the state of Indiana that have youngsters playing key roles in the lineup. A lot of freshmen making things happen. And tonight for Frankfurt, uh, they've got some freshmen in Macy Starrett, who's starting this one. She's 5'4". A lot of activity will be going her way. But the key here is that sophomore, Morgan Adamson, 5'9", a sophomore, left-handed setter. She'll have to fill in for Gay in tonight's match and made a few mistakes, but for the most part doing fairly well guiding the hot dogs early on. So Tri-West trailed by three earlier, lead by one now. They'll look to try to build on that here. Double hit, I believe, called that time against Frankfurt. Point for Tri-West. Now 11-9. That one tipped across. Nice play by McKenna Brahman. Brahman this year has 13 blocks, which is not too bad early on this season. And uh, that's 78 kills. That's her 79th kill of the season. They're on a roll. A great diving effort that time from Springer. She'll come up with some floor burns from that one for sure. You can hear it all the way up here. Ashley Timmons from that far side with the left-handed swing does a great job of firing that one across court, but they've got to serve, keeping the ball game. Starrett with the miss hit that time for Frankfurt. 
Substitutions now. So number three and number six come back in. That's Ashlyn DeBello and Jolie Owens for the Bruins. It'll be DeBello with the serve. This one finds pay dirt for Frankfurt. Boy, Timmons is hot. Oh, they're going to say it's out of bounds, I believe, on the opposite side. Oh, my. I call them the candy canes, Mike. I, I know they got a technical term, but I miss it every time. But you got the red and white markers going up on each side of the net. The official ruled it was on the outside of that. So 15 to 10 now. This is a huge swing. And what was a three-point lead for Frankfurt earlier? And Ashlyn DeBello is serving very, very well right now for Tri-West. The momentum has changed. <laughs> 16 to 10 now. Tri-West continues to build on their lead. And that's a good timeout for Coach Russian as she's talking to her young setter, Adamson. Trying to get their team reset, but I tell you, that's why Tri-West has done so well. They've served well, they've received well, and they're on top quickly here in the first set. Yeah, we'll stay with you here through this timeout. Tri-West with a five-point lead early on. And they they were down early. It took them a minute to kind of get rolling, but it seems like they're starting to pass a little more crisp here. And even on their serve-receive game, they're starting to do a better job of getting into their offense. That's why they've been able to turn things around here against Frankfurt early on. You know, I think Kia Russia would like to see the pace picked up from her, her team. They sort of slow down, and all of a sudden, things change. As you mentioned, Tri-West became more comfortable here in this big arena, and now they started to attack. And they developed a lot of confidence. This team is playing with a role. A big victory last night over Southmont in five sets, 3-2. to two. That's <laughs> propelled them to a 3-0 undefeated record in the conference. They have to be feeling really good about themselves. And they are serving really well as you take a look at Ashlyn DeBello on the back side for the Bruins. So they're working to get Frankfurt back in line where they're supposed to be here. That's the holdup coming back out of the timeout. One, making sure you've got the right girls on the floor, and two, that they come back out in the right position on the floor. Frankfurt in the blue and whites tonight. Tri-West in the blue and gold. Conference matchup here. Conference championship implications as Mike alluded to in our pregame show. Tri-West unbeaten, so is Frankfurt. The Frankfurt's only played one conference game so far. Tri-West is already 3-0. That was a big swing by Jolie Owens. And it went out. Frankfurt needed to get that point, get things back in order here. Allison Timmons will check back in for Frankfurt. Trailing by five. And there's a fourth hit against Tri-West. Haven't seen the Bruins make too many mistakes there, but that time Jolie Owens adds a point to the Frankfurt Hot Dogs. Tara Martinez at the service line for Frankfurt being tasked with trying to get him back in this one. That misplayed off the block, and that was a tough, tough yeah. ball to play there as Timmons laid out for it, but couldn't get to it. Unfortunately for number 14, Allison Timmons, she wasn't close enough to the net. Therefore, when the ball came across, it ricocheted to the far side. There was another great serve there. Tri-West will continue to build on their lead now, 18 to 12. In tonight's game, a partnership between the ISC Sports Network and the Hot Dog TV Network. This is a student-produced production. We're excited to be able to bring it to you. Give these young men and women a platform here to come out and perfect their craft. And that's what the hot dogs are trying to do on the court tonight. They got a point there, 18-13. Great aggressive play by Ashley Timmons, number five, to make that score. Every point now is very important for Frankfurt as they have their backs to the wall in this match. 
Nice dig, great passing. Got it right to the middle of the floor and driven home by Megan Duffy. Fantastic job. Fantastic job of setting Duffy up by number seven, Madison Elam. Great back set from Elam to Duffy. Bruins serve with a six point lead. Set, they go right over the middle, a little dink across. Dug out nicely by the Bruins. A little quick hit that time going over in two. Right back in the middle. Chloe Roberts, good job. Great job of hang time by Chloe Roberts and then making a nice swing for the kill and the point. Serve will go back now to Morgan Adamson for Frankfurt. They trail by five. Got to try to find a way to fight their way back here in game one. So many times, Mike, game one is such a pivotal game. A lot of times the team that wins game one wins the overall match. Another substitution here is number nine, McKenna Brahman checks back in. And I have to agree with you, particularly in a conference matchup here, whoever wins this first set is going to have a unique advantage. Seen volleyball be so volatile over the years. It's such a mental game. But as girls are having, having fun and communicating and playing well, you just see momentum go to that side. Coach, okay. Re Coach Rushton thought the ball was live, and the officials took the point and sent it the Bruins' way. Unfortunately tonight, we do not have the benefit of a replay, but I thought Frankfurt got a hand under that one. Looked like a good pancake save. You don't know what I mean there. It's getting your hand as flat as you can, and it was between the ball and the floor. Blocked at the net by Timmons, and now we're starting to see some emotion from Frankfurt. Allison Timmons with the block, number 14. Did a great job of that time attacking the net. That'll put Kylie Norman at the service line. The junior that time, unable to get it across. And now, three points away, our Tri West from stealing game one here on the road against the Hot Dogs. And Jen Springer has a task now serving from the service line for the Bruins, the lefty. Back in the middle to Starrett. Starrett blocked at the net. Martinez across. And there you go. Found a hole in the defense. And Frankfurt plays fast. Good things happen. We talked about the prowess of blocking at the net by Fry West. They were able to do that, but good recovery by the Hot Dogs here. That Chloe, one played long. And Chloe Roberts puts a lot of pressure on the defense. You talked about it earlier, Sean, how effective she is serving. She hits that ball hard, and there's a lot of movement on it, almost like a knuckleball. The serve. End over end spin that time. Handled by Tri West. Back set. Good block at the net. Got enough of it. Frankfurt scrambling now. And then just misplayed there. You could see a lot of Frankfurt players out of position there. They were all up around the net that time, and had they gotten it across, an easy over-the-top play there from Tri-West would have gotten the job done. And just two more points for Tri-West to merge the victor in the first set. This play by Norman, now just one point away. Self-inflicted errors in the first set by Frankfurt for the most part. Bruins are serving very well. Frankfurt trying to keep their hopes alive here in game one, and they will momentarily at least. Boy, they can find a way to get the ball to Ashley Timmons. Her swings are phenomenal. Another kill by this youngster, number five. Stare it now, back to serve. Nice dig. 
Frankfurt still battling. Not trying to go away quietly here in game one. Try West. Frankfurt mm. can't communicate for the last hit, and Try West comes out with a game one victory. 25 18 your score at the end of one. We'll take a quick break when we come back. More volleyball headed your way here on the ISC Sports Network. It can be awkward talking to your doctor or healthcare provider about things like body odor, depression, drugs, relationships, or sex, but they need to know. If you lie or decide not to tell them something, you may not get the care you need. If you are embarrassed to talk to a parent about health concerns, remember as a team, you have the right to talk to a healthcare provider alone and get access to some health services without friends, parents, or anyone else finding out. Take responsibility for your health care. For more information, call Healthy Communities at 765-659-6063. Whatever the score is before you flip the game. That way, this is good to come back with because it will show one nothing zero zero. My name is Gary Gangwer, and I own the Gangwer Insurance Agency as well as Farm here in Clinton County. After an accident in Cleveland, Ohio, I had an opportunity to look at insurance. Didn't have anything to do until harvest, so I thought, why not? And it felt natural for me to call on farmers and specialize in farm insurance because that's what I use as a farmer is insurance. This is really tough for me because I'm trying to remain professional on this show. And then you got 50 feet of crap and the New York Knicks. You're 60, so I'm not going to put my hands on you, but I'm going to slap this guy instead. Are we going to have our first real good argument on this show? That's what everyone <laughs> wants to hear. <laughs> and <laughs> that is the point. The fate of your mouth is on your shoulders. Showtime, cavity bug. <laughs> Dr. Snyder and the Argente Dental Guardians help you fight to keep your mouth healthy. Call Dr. Snyder and the Argente Dental Guardians at 654-7222. We protect smiles of all ages. Argente Dental is a happy place. We welcome you back to Case Arena. We get set for game number two. This portion of our broadcast tonight is brought to us by Tipma REMC. Make sure you get an in-home energy assessment. It's the easy, convenient, and free way to measure your home's energy efficiency, lowering your energy bills and saving you money. To schedule your free assessment, visit tipma.org, Tipma REMC, empowering our communities. And they're helping to empower our broadcast. We want to thank them and all of our sponsors all season long here on the ISC Sports Network. A huge slate of games headed your way. Make sure that you download the apps in the App Store. Go to the website. Watch us on TV. However you can consume us, consume us. That's what we want you to do. You can buy DVDs, digital downloads of games. If you're a parent or a grandparent at home that want to tune in, head over to mtcsports.net. Follow the links in the shop. That's the name of the production company working behind the scenes here for ISC along with the student crew from the Hot Dog Network. As Tri West gets out to an early 1-0 lead. There's also links from the ISCSportsNetwork.com website that'll get you there as well. Ashley Timmons makes one mistake on one end, comes back and fires home a kill. And we've got ourselves a tie match here in set number two. I got deja vu because it started the exact same way last time, 1-1. What do you think Coach Rushton said to her squad there in between games, Mike? Well, one thing is don't panic and stay focused. We've got a lot of volleyball left as they attack the net against an outstanding Tri-West team. Megan Duffy, number four, by the way, is 28th in the state and hitting at 384. She has been a spectacular player for the Bruins this year. You saw that block at the net. That's what led to the point for Frankfurt. That was Chloe Roberts and Allison Timmons with the tag team. This one a little too strong from Ashley Timmons. Point try west tie things up at two. Madison Elam will check back in here for the Bruins. The biggest challenge, Sean, right now for Frankfurt, from my perspective, is having a new setter in Adamson. It's not easy for her to step into that role. And yet, the dogs come up with a big point there. I think she's doing a great job. 
but I'm with you. That's got to be hard because different players move fluidly different on the court. And even though the ball may be going to the same place, it doesn't mean that they take the same path to get there as far as uh, the setter's concerned. So they're trying to get used to uh, how Adamson tracks the ball versus how Gay does. And then Adamson's got to learn her teammates where they like to, to hit the ball on the floor and, and how to pass to them. It, it's much like going to a backup quarterback you know, mid-season and only having a, a short amount of time to really try to work a playbook around them. Maybe might even be harder than that as uh, Adamson also was serving there as well as Tri-West picks up a point. Now, for Adamson, she has set on club team, so she's familiar with the role. But just like anything else, you've got to be familiar with the team around you yeah. as well in that position. It takes a lot of time. And Frankfurt is really doing a good job battling here in the second set. They're off to a really good start. They have to continue to serve well and, and be aggressive on serve, reception, and attack. They have not been able to do that as much as they'd like to. But I tell you, if Frankfurt's able to pull one out tonight, I would think you'd almost have to give Adamson the game ball, would you not? I mean, uh, no doubt. <laughs> There's Chloe Roberts. And you got Roberts and Timmons both firing on both ends for Frankfurt. They've got a pretty nice duo there. And if you're Adamson, just find a way to get those two the ball. Big swing. What we got here? Going to be a call against Frankfurt. It'll give Tri West the point. 6 4 your score. Hot Dogs lead by two. Apparently, a double hit. A double hit on Frankfurt gives, as you mentioned, the Bruins the point. Jennifer Springer, the libero here for Tri West. She'll have the serving duties. Starrett just goes back row. Tri West, opportunity into the net. Good play by Frankfurt to keep it alive. Tri West again. Big swing. Frankfurt gets a paw on it. Great job by Roberts keeping that one alive. And uh, there's going to be another double hit against the Hot Dogs, apparently. Big That's point. Both coaches up on the sideline. You think this means something to them here? A Sagamore Conference matchup. Great play there. Just push it over to the back row and catch the Bruins out of position. And he did. And that was a very, very difficult chance there for Tri-West to recover on that one from Timmons just sliding one by in the backside. Surf here from Frankfurt with a two-point lead. They led by three early in game number one, but were unable to come out with a victory. Net violation yeah. there apparently on Frankfurt, so Tri-West gets another point. 7-6, so honestly what's killing Frankfurt tonight is themselves. They yeah. had a lot of different errors into the net, double hits. Those are the things that you can avoid. Let's see if the Lady Hot Dogs are able to wow. rebound from some of these mistakes, but Tri-West taking full advantage of them, tying things up. Patterson, 13 on the kill, another freshman at 5'11". She just swung at that and hammered it. Nice back set, too, by Tri-West. That was a great idea there. The angle, it was open, just a little too strong that time from Ashley Timmons. 8-7 now, Tri-West. Good dig out of there by Springer. The set, Adamson, and the swing that time well, they from know Ashley who, Timmons. And you said it, Sean, feed Timmons, and Ashley Timmons was the one who got that one instead of Starrett on the other side. She put it away. I love how twice in a row, though, she came near side to camera side to Roberts, gave her two in a row, and then went back mm -hmm. to Timmons there. That'll open things up as well. The dig, Norman. Adamson's got to go over now. Free ball opportunity here for Tri-West. Good block at the net. That time, Robertson-Martinez there. 
This one played long, Frankfurt with the point. Yeah, that's a great point for the Hot Dogs there. They won the battle of the net. Timmons and Martinez doing a nice job. Stare with the serve. This one comes back across Martinez. Just kind of found herself stuck there. You know, every once in a while the ball's played to you and you got to get out of the way of it and let somebody be there. And there is a tip there by Try West as Frankfurt's going to be awarded the point. Ashley Timmons, very aggressive. Wow, fortunate for the hot dogs. You need one to go your way every once in a while. No question about it. Starrett with a nice hard serve there. But they come back on this side, and Try West picks up a point on a big swing there by number nine, McKenna Brownman, 5'10 outside hitter. Score in the gymnasium actually 10 to 9. Just some, some minor technical difficulties. We'll get our graphics fixed and get them back up for you here shortly. That serve into the net. A little fatigue there on the part of the server, number three. Ashlyn DeBello served very well in the first set. 11 9 now for Frankfurt. If you're just now tuning in, Tri West took the First game here, lead one to nothing. Mike, it's always fun. I know when we get to travel to West Lafayette, as you see this one hammered right down the line, a well-placed hit from Tri-West. We get to travel to West Lafayette and you get to go to the alma mater. It just, it feels different, right? It just, I, it I does. I got that same thing. I'm back here for Frankfurt. I'm, I'm trying to do my best. To, to not be an all-pro Frankfurt <laughs> broadcast here, but, you know, I have memories of this gym. Sometimes not so fun running around <laughs> it because I was in trouble. But, uh, yeah, it's good to be back here at Frankfurt High School. And this is a program that is on the move, this volleyball program. Last year, 4-3 and three in the Sagamore Conference. They're looking to up it up this year. Boy, Tri West is doing a great job in recovery. I thought Frankfurt's made some nice plays here, but... Adamson, one. oh my, nice tip. It's kind of like a tennis play there, draw him to the net and play it right over the top. She's able to find pay dirt there, does Adamson. Been impressed with her play tonight. Frankfurt's lead by two. Oh, quick hit, nice diving effort that time. Great Ashley job. Timmons hit the floor. And that one looked like it was long, but ruled in. That'll be a point for Tri-West. Good effort by the Bruins. Jennifer Springer, number one, kept the ball alive. Got it up in the air for one of the Bruins to hammer it home for the point. Big swing. Nice job by Springer. Tri-West plays it back across. Now Frankfurt. Chance to get into their offense. Good diving effort from Springer again. Timmons. That one's home. She is just very comfortable being out there and playing very aggressive. And she's getting good support by Starrett in the starting role today, wearing number four, I believe. Or number two. Oh. Number two. Number two. Substitution here will take place. Number nine comes back in. That's McKenna Brahman for Tri-West. Talked about their season so far, six and seven overall. But this is a team that is three and oh in the Sagamore Conference right now with hopes and aspirations of bringing home a conference championship. And Megan Duffy, their top player, just came up with a huge kill there. Hammered that one home, her 90th kill of the season, leading the Bruins. Bruins actually started their season four and one with a lone loss at Southport. And then lost five out of their next six. That was Brahman with the tip of the net and they're controlling things again, making a little run, Sean. Score here in the stadium actually 14 to 13. Just minor technical difficulties. No big deal, we work through that stuff here. Chloe Roberts with the kill on that one. Another big point for the Hot Dogs. 14 to 14 now your score. Oh. 
This one blocked, but it'll be out of bounds. So Tri West will get the point. Norman will check back in here for the dogs. And L. Patterson, the talented freshman, comes back in for the Bruins. This is about the time that Tri West pulled away in game one. Misplayed there. Difficult chance for the Bruins there and Lindsey Springer, number two. So Frankfurt, crucial part here in game number two. You definitely don't want to fall behind two games to nothing. You've got Chloe Roberts at the service line, which is who you want to have there. But once again, they're able to quickly run her off that service line. Try West back on top. Rahman did a really good job aggressively on the outside to score that point and get her team back in control. This is Jenna Hill, number five. Stare it with the swing. And boy, I'll tell you, not a ton of smoke on that one, but the trajectory was straight into the floor in a great angle. Great play by Starrett. Macy Starrett. She's also serving almost 85% this year. This one a tough back and forth matchup as this one's out of bounds. Frankfurt will regain the lead here, 17-16. Tonight, Frankfurt has not been consistent. Swing there. The block was there, but unfortunately, a little bit of space between the blockers and the net. And that's where the ball ended up. Starrett again having an outstanding match in this one. Give her a lot of credit. Martinez as well, who will be serving here for Frankfurt. Good look at her. That could have been a double hit. Yeah. Hill got away with one there, but it doesn't matter. A little long. Frankfurt with another point. This will be a timeout taken by Tri West. That allows us to remind you that tonight's game is brought to us by Fiberhawk. Fiberhawk Fiber Internet. Super fast speeds, no more buffering, perfect for all sizes of business. Fiberhawk offers every speed to meet your internet needs. For more on offerings and availability, go to fiberhawk.com or call 765 922 Hawk. Fast, affordable Fiberhawk. What is a great game here in game number two? Frankfurt leading by two. 19 to 7. You see the graphic on your screen. It is one game, nothing for Tri West. Frankfurt looking to try to steal game two here and even things up. Frankfurt's last match lost against West Lafayette, 3 to 1. The Red Devils also in sectional 20, along with Benton Central, Crawfordsville, North Montgomery, Twin Lakes, and these hot dogs. Frankfurt has a chance as they continue to improve, possibly to win that sectional, move into regional action. Before that loss to West Lafayette, who's always a really good program, Frankfurt had won three straight matches in a row. They got their hands full here with Tri West tonight. Patterson did a great job of attacking. She flew up and hammered that one down for a point. But isn't it amazing, too, like just in any other sport, you make a big play and now it's your turn to serve, right? Yeah. Adamson to Timmons. Timmons a little too long there. All tied up at 19 in game two. Crucial points as we come down the stretch. You can see the screen there here in Case Serena, the John Millhall wow. court. Is Frankfurt able to get that point? Timmons again with a great hit from the far side. Speaking of Coach Mulholland, and I met him for the first time briefly at the IHSAA Foundation golf outing at Prairie View and Carmel. I'll tell you, John Milhon was a great coach, 
man, administrator. He was principal when I was here at Frankfurt, and his coaching days were behind him. And now, even in retirement, still still heavily involved. And he came to that uh, event with uh, Hall of Fame basketball coach Dave Nicholson, who at one time coached against uh, Frankfurt at Noblesville. And Coach Mulholland had a baseball cap, and I asked him, can I have that? He said, sure, here it is. <laughs> so I now am the owner of a Frankfurt hot dog baseball cap. You should have worn it tonight, uh, Mike. It's okay. 21-20, yeah, well, your score of the home team. Wanted to try to be neutral tonight. With the, with the lead here in game <laughs> two. I tried to. I still wore a blue polo, though. A little lighter than the school colors, but. Well, that was a quick play and a great recovery from Tri-West. Adamson with the set. Timmons tried to just doink that one over. Springer will play it across. Martinez to Adamson. Over to Roberts. And that one finds home. An awkward hit by Chloe Roberts, and she probably would be the first one to admit that she probably wasn't looking for a kill there, being off balance, but it made it happen. Looked like she didn't get as much pepper on it as she wanted to, and it still worked out. Roberts again. Good dig from the back row, wow. but a little long. It's those little things that you need to have to win matches, and it was Chloe Roberts, as you mentioned, doing a good job of digging down for the hot dogs. We'll take a quick break. We'll say a quick 30-second timeout here. We'll have more volleyball when we come back. Mom, we're late, and I left my soccer bag at Cindy's, and I need to get my dress today. It's okay, honey. I'll take care of it. Oh, Mom, I'll take care of it. Uh... We'll take care of it with more ways to access Indiana's most highly skilled primary care doctors. Indiana University Health makes it easy to take care of your family. What? I told you I'd take care of it. Schedule same-day primary care appointments at 1-888-IU-HEALTH. Tonight's game, a product of the Farmers Bank, locally owned and operated with 10 banking offices located in central Indiana providing retail, business, trust, and asset management, investment, mortgage, and electronic banking services. The Farmer Bank is here to support you every step of the way. The Farmer's Bank, my bank for life. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. What a rally. Oh, my. Chloe Roberts battling for Frankfurt number seven and knocks one home for another point. Well, that was a great point right there. Both teams fighting hard. Frankfurt now with a chance to tie things up here at one game apiece if they can pull this point out here. The set, the big hit that time from Madison Elam, and it's a point for Tri-West, 24-21. Great job by Elam coming from the left side and knocking one home for the Bruins, who will be appearing in sectional 25 later this fall. Danville, Greencastle, Lebanon, Monrovia. Among teams in that section, they have a chance of making a run. A lot of schools you just named are schools that you can see all season long here on the ISC Sports Network as Tri-West refuses to go away quietly in game number two. And again, number nine, Rahman very tough at the net for the Bruins with the point. Big hit, block at the net, misplayed in Frankfurt. Well, still a victory here in game number two to tie things up at one game apiece. We will take a quick break. Don't touch your dial. More volleyball headed your way from Case Arena on the ISC Sports Network when we return. Every business we work with at Haley's has different security needs. As a certified Medico Security Center, we provide the highest quality products with affordable solutions for your business. E-cylinders fit into your existing hardware and are controlled from your computer. Medico Smart Solutions provide options for different employee access levels, patented key control, loss and liability protection. Surveillance cameras protect your employees and your business. Call today for your free business security assessment. Let the professionals at Haley's keep your business safe with locations in Lafayette and Crawfordsville. Hi, I'm Ashley with the Farmers Bank. I'm here to introduce the Farmers Bank mobile banking app for your smartphone. Find us at the App Store or the Play Store. To find our app, search for the Farmers Bank mobile banking Pfizer solutions. Have your finances at your fingertips anytime, all the time. Sign up today. The Farmers Bank, your local bank, 
your mobile bank, your bank for life. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hey mom and dad, as a teen, I have a right to privacy when it comes to my health care. As a parent or guardian of a teen, there are a few things you can do to help. Respect our privacy. Let us have one-on-one -on -one time with our doctor. Allow us to make our own appointments, fill out our own paperwork, and encourage us to speak up for our own health care needs. For more tips and information, call Healthy Communities at 765-659-6063. We welcome you back inside Case Arena. Exciting volleyball action tied at one game apiece. Tonight's third game brought to us by our friends at Thomas Phoenix Lawn and Garden. They are ready to help you make your tall grass short. Save up to 20% with Husqvarna Fleet discounts on commercial cutting packages starting as low as $48.99. That's $4,899, and that's a steal. Give them a call today at 296-2988 to see if you qualify for a special financing offer. Mike, I have a zero turn mower from Husqvarna. I bought it from Thomas Phoenix Lawn and Garden. That is both true, both of those statements are true, and it's probably one of the favorite things I've ever bought in my entire life. That was like my proud adulting moment. Right up there with probably the first time I moved out on my own and went and, and bought toilet paper or something. You know, I was excited, and now I own a, a great mower and I'm able to cut my grass and I'm the envy of the neighborhood. Yeah. I tell you what, it probably, <laughs> takes about half the time now to cut the lawn with that husk barn, and there's no doubt about it, a, a great investment. Uh, because I tell you what, with the old push mower. It's not fun. It is not fun. Not fun at all. I, mean, it I is, would probably it's, be. It's, it's aggravating. I would probably be a little smaller <laughs> if I had a push mower. <laughs> with a zero turn, there's no need for one. I can get right up next to things. Cut the yard in literally half the time. So both teams took a game we're tied up at one apiece and that's wow. the first time we've seen an ace like that where it just found nothing but court miscommunication for Frankfurt to start Patterson with a big serve for the Bruins to start off the third set all tied up 1-1 as you see the scoreboard Try West on the attack. Good job of just keeping that one alive for the dogs, but they're giving Try West a lot of opportunities here. Tried to go across quickly, double hit that time by Timmons. One of the things I think that's helped Frankfurt out in, in the second set was leadership by Chloe Roberts and Ashley Timmons. Everybody seemed to step up their game when those two caught fire. Addison comes outside to Timmons, right down the line, and that one's in. Allison Timmons with a big kill, number 14. We got Ashley and Allison Timmons, and on the other side, you got Jennifer and Lindsey Springer. <laughs> Great scramble here. Four hits that time for Tri-West, Point Frankfurt. And Tri-West got a little bit comfortable. Instead of attacking the, the net there, they got a little bit uh, loose. And a mistake was made by Julie Owens, number six. And that time, look at that. Played into the net. 3-2 your score, Tri-West with the lead. There's a good look at Lindsey Springer. Try West will play it across. It's long, it's out of bounds. We're all tied at three. And the seesaw battle continues. An unforced error, yet a good set there by Jen Springer, number one. I'm gonna give a hats off to these young men working behind the scenes tonight. 
part of the Hot Dog TV Network radio TV class here at Frankfurt High School. This is a joint production between their class, the ISC Sports Network. Excited to bring you quite a few games all season long from Frankfurt High School, and you see the effort there from the Lady Dogs going into their own bench. Jolie Owens with a big kill, her 75th kill of the season. That time she had a nice swing on the outside, and Frankfurt couldn't catch up with it. One of Kia Rushton's assistants there was saying, no, 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 no. <laughs> Didn't want to have a player in, the, in her lap there. Don't blame her. This one ruled out, not touched by Frankfurt. And so it'll be a Frankfurt point. Anytime Megan Duffy gets her hands on the ball, good things happen. Not that time for Twy West. She is a dominant player, number four, a first team Sagamore Conference performer from last year. Hammered home there in the middle. I believe that was number four, Megan Duffy. <laughs> yeah, Megan Duffy, as I mentioned, she is a fantastic player and she can take it over but uh, she's being substituted now. 5-4. Misplayed there by Norman. You know what's fun, Mike, is to come back after all these years, go to come to Frankfurt High School and look down through the roster and you recognize all these last names and you realize Oh, their parents were classmates of mine or, uh, you know, in classes right around my graduating class. I don't know whether it makes me feel old or <laughs> not too sure how I like it, but well, that's a sign of it's interesting. It's a sign of maturity, and it's also fun to watch these young kids develop as they grow up and, and really be competitive. And some of these young ladies will have a chance to play collegiate volleyball at the next level. Set from Adamson, finds Roberts. Bruins on top of it. Hey, whatever it takes to get it back across that time is Adamson just put a shoulder into it. The Bruins though with the point. Great job by Brahman, number nine on the changeup. Knocked it over the top of the net. Caught Frankfurt off guard and the Bruins on top. This run garners a timeout here from Coach Kia Russ and she'll talk to her group gives us an opportunity to thank another one of our sponsors. How about Gangwear Insurance? I want to thank them with markets for everything and everyone. In your time of need, we'll be there. Give us a call at 765-379-3650 or visit gangwearinsurance.com for more information and a location near you. I want to thank Gangwear Insurance Agencies for their sponsorship. A lot of football headed our way Friday night on the ISC Sports Network. We will be have one crew at North Central this Friday night. I believe it's Lawrence North at North Central, part of that MIC conference coverage that you can see all season long here on the ISC Sports Network. And we'll have some uh, Class A football. Try Central at Clinton Prairie. Mike, you'll be joining us for that broadcast there. We'll stay here in Clinton County. Great football in the state of Indiana at every level. Good, good coaching the high school. It's developing good NAIA, good Division Three football uh, in this state. You talked about NAIA. You said Division Three. How about Division Two? Because our college football season kicks off this weekend on the ISC Sports Network. You can watch the Marion Knights, a perennial NAIA powerhouse. You can watch Division II, University of Indianapolis, the UND Greyhounds. Both of those, you can watch them back to back, which is what's even better. Marion will kick off at one o'clock, UND kicks off at six, grab some popcorn and there you go, throw some dogs on the grill. No doubt about it. Speaking of dogs, they are hot right now, serving Chloe Roberts when she plays at a high level, this Frankfurt team seems to take off. Nine to six, your score in favor of Tri-West. That one was tipped, it landed out of bounds, but it was tipped by a, a hot dog player at the net. Tri-West been very active in, in this third game here tonight. 
A lot riding on the line in this one for both, both clubs. That one into the net, 10-7 your score. Stare it back to serve. Hot dogs down by three. I feel like this is a pivotal point in this match right here. I know I've said that a few times, but right here for Frankfurt, you can't fall further behind as you hit the midpoint of game three. Jolie Owens checks back in for the Bruins. Coach Aguilar signaling where he wants this ball to go. And they try to attack the middle of the hot dogs defense there. Martinez plays it across, but a great block by L. Patterson. Patterson came over the top, used her size, the freshman 5'11", and gets the point. That is a huge point for the five-point margin. This time they go after Norman, but she able to handle that one. Patterson. Boy, the middle of the floor was wide open. Just a misplay there. They're going to call a double hit against Tri-West. That'll bring Timmons back off the bench for the Hot Dogs, and that'll bring number 11, Caitlin Nicoli, a senior, rocking a heavy knee brace out there, Mike. I believe this is the first time we've seen her tonight for the Bruins. She checks in here in game three. And one of the things about the Bruins, they're going a little bit deeper in tonight's match than Frankfurt. Another substitution as the libero comes off, Megan Duffy comes back on. Five point deficit for the Frankfurt Hot Dogs. Addison goes to Timmons. Sets it up outside, goes to the other Timmons. Quick set that time. Frankfurt, they'll try it as well. Nicoli, and then unable to play it there at the net was Duffy, point Frankfurt. I think Duffy kind of lost recognition of where she stood on the court and made a mistake. This might open up the door for the Hot Dogs. They need to take advantage of every point now. Oh, great nice play tip. by Duffy. Saw the block in position and just went around it. April Sellers now will check in. Megan Duffy has rewarded a kill. She is averaging 2.7 kills per set this year. She has been outstanding for the Bruins. That one inbound down the line. Another outstanding player in Ashley Timmons. Frankfurt hanging around, down four. Trying to fight back into this one are the dogs. Miss hit there by Adamson. That'll give the point to Tri West. You talked about the tournament that's approaching next month for both of these teams. They're kind of at the midpoint in their season. Tournament history for Tri-West, they've got 12 sectional titles. However, the last time they got one was they did it in back-to-back -back years, 2011, 2012. So working on what is a seven-year drought for the Bruins. Frankfurt's drought's a little bit longer than that. Their last title came in 09, but they did it in three straight years. 07, 08, 09. Tri-West continues to extend their lead now, 17 to 10. They have really picked up the pace. They're winning the battle of the net. Brahma, number nine, with a kill there. Patterson and Duffy have both played very well for the Bruins. 18 to 10, and that'll take another time out here from Frankfurt. Gives us a chance to step aside as well. 18 to 10, your score. We'll take a quick break. More volleyball when we return. Thomas Phoenix Lawn and Garden is your local Husqvarna dealer. With us, you'll find a knowledgeable staff that's able to provide quick turnaround service so your business doesn't have to stop. From zero-turn mowers to trimmers and chainsaws, Husqvarna has you covered. And with the fleet program, the more you buy, the more you get in return. With that kind of stability, you can rely on us for the long haul. 
Get your Husqvarna equipment today at Thomas Phoenix Lawn and Garden, located at 6292 West County Road Zero in Frankfurt. Welcome back to Case Arena. Try West has jumped out to an eight point lead here in game number three. We're tied at one game apiece and out of the timeout. That's gotta be a head scratcher for Coach Rushton because it's one of your better players. Just a focus right there, coming out a little lackadaisic on that point. 19 to 10, Try West. This is what I referred to earlier, Mike, and it not to try to be mean, this is this level of volleyball, it's high school, right? Mm -hmm. But you see so many times it's mental when things just aren't going your way, it seems like it snowballs that way at this level, especially in the sport of volleyball. As I've been watching it pretty steadily over the last 10 years. You know, and the good news is for this, I, I think that if you lose and you learn how to deal with adversity, and at some point it's gonna help you on not only this season, but it's going to help you, on, help you out in life. I think these young ladies are really going to get an opportunity to use this as a springboard to be successful in life. Not everything goes your way. You have to learn how to deal with adversity. You have to learn when things aren't good and how you're going to deal with it. You've got to get back up on your feet and make it happen. And right now, Duffy is really attacking the net. Great job by the Bruins. So Bruins now 21 to 11 with a 10-point margin. Substitutions continue for both sides. And, and a lot of what I was alluding to is I remember covering a match, and this has got to be eight years ago at this point, and, and I believe it was two of the Lafayette schools. It might have even been McCutcheon and Harrison. And whichever team it was came out, and they jumped out early to two game to nothing lead. And then all of a sudden it was just like momentum changed, and the other team won the next three games to win the overall match. But you would have thought, we're going home in three. This is over as bad as one team played. And just like on a dime, boom, other team's back in it and end up winning the whole thing. It's, it's, it's amazing. So there's really two lessons to be learned. One is, obviously, how to deal with adversity. The second one is, you've got to play each match point by point by point. You can't look ahead. And certainly, you can't look behind. Because if you do, it'll be a disaster. And don't take your foot off the gas pedal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 24 to 11, so the most dominant performance so far has been in game three here by Tri-West. Need one more point to close out game three and take a two to one lead. Martinez plays it across. This violation against Tri-West. We give Frankfurt the ball, 24 to 12. And you've got Roberts back on the service line. Never say never. This is who you'd want in this situation. Try to go on a run here. Frankfurt on the scramble. Adamson to stare it. Stare it really winds up on that one. The Springer with a nice dig. Got it high. Let her team recover. Frankfurt will play it back across. Now defensively for the dogs, they got to set up. There's going to be a lift there, double hit. Actually is the call against Tri-West. Robert's slow to get up. Yep, the Hot Dogs get a point as Tri-West, the lineup number 10, April Sellers, on the right side, outside hitter, Junior. Robert's there shaking up on the play. Didn't even realize that the point was actually awarded to her team. It's still her serve. She took a hard fall there, and you got to applaud her effort. Getting on the floor, this is a hard court. That's Trust me, I've, I've, I've slid across it a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Roberts continues a little bit of a run here. 24 to 14. Bam! And that one hammered home. Try West says enough is enough here in game three. They finally get that 25th point. 25 to 14, your final. Try West leads Frankfurt two games to one. More volleyball headed your way on the ISC Sports Network when we return. Hello, love. Welcome back to another edition of Sock Takes TV. I am by far the most humble person here. 
okay? I'm a lot better than he is. If you're getting accused of celebrating too much, <laughs> maybe you have some good team chemistry. This is just a recurring theme in our lives. I brought you a present, a book. Follow the adventures of the Ardente Dental Team as they fight cavities, gum disease, and create beautiful, healthy smiles. Inconceivable! Hello, my name is Dr. Snyder. You cause cavities. Prepare to die. Inconceivable! To make your smile look straight and fine, our braces per month are just one night Inconceivable! You keep using that word, I do not think it means what you think it means. Have fun at Ardente Dental. Daily since 1969, Haley's Lock, Safe, and Key has provided expertise and solutions when dealing with residential or commercial security needs. Whether you're looking for a safe, seeking access solutions, or in need of automotive keys, nobody can serve you better than Haley's. One-on-one -on -one service and simply the best solutions we've been providing at Daily for more than 40 years. Haley's Lock, Safe, and Keys. Call, visit, or find us online. Two locations, Crawfordsville and Lafayette. This is actually turning out much better than I thought it would. So here we are today. This is awesome. I feel like we've done this before. Is that how the whole interview is going to be? Yeah. Either works? Yeah. Real? <laughs> you want to do this? Doing better. It's three this. letters. How can you screw that up? Live every week here on going forward. It will be streaming live on the ISCSportsNetwork.com at 630. Or if you do get their cable um, channel, you can watch it there as well. So very, very exciting. Hello everyone, this is Lanny Sego. I'll help you along the way to become more familiar with this guy because there's literally people like Dick Atha all across the state of Indiana. I've known who you are for a long time, but now I know a lot more. Welcome you back inside Case Arena as we get set for game number four. You see the hot dogs entering in the top right of your screen there. Coach Rushton took her squad completely out of the gymnasium before game number four. Either they had some secret coach didn't want anybody else to hear, or maybe she's lighting a fire out there. Either way, we'll see how Frankfurt responds after uh, really played two very competitive games there. They lost game one 25 to 18. They won game two 25 to 22. But in game three, it was all Tri-West 25 to 14. So I think Coach Rushton just wanted to make sure their team is is focus as we get set. And I think one of our sponsors here real quick, Mike, and we'll get your thoughts. Our Dente Dental. Healthy smiles start here. Call to schedule your appointment at 765-654-7222. Say habla espanol. And if you've ever driven through Frankfurt and looked at any of the billboards in Frankfurt, you will recognize our Dente Dentals because she always does all the parodies. It's just fun. <laughs> From Star Wars to Princess Bride, you name it, they're up there. You're going to be looking now, aren't you? Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Even had smile improvement with them all looking over the fence, just, you know, kind of like home improvement, the neighbor yeah, of Tim I, Taylor. I love that. It's a great way to differentiate yourself. Ardente Dental. You always remember that as Tri-West has come out on top very quickly here, one nothing. Now, one of the things I'd like to mention is both clubs – have played two five setters during the course of the season. Um, Frankfurt, 2 0 in their five set matches, a win over Rossville and Western. And this, uh, this club, uh, Tri West, is split. They lost to a highly ranked North Putnam team, 3 2, and then last night won 3 2 against Southmont. So Frankfurt would like to push this to five. If we get to that point, Game number five is only played to 15, so it's a shorter one. You got to get in a roll pretty quickly there if it, you get where it's 2-2. Two, two. Substitutions take place. The serve will be with Lindsey Springer and Tri West as they lead 2-1. to one. Mike, do you remember the days of volleyball before rally scoring? I mean, it felt like matches took a lot longer, did they not? I, I think they did. I mean, <laughs> over the years I've watched volleyball, I mean, too many years and yeah it, it the length was but yet I still think the game is fantastic look at this the excitement of this to me it's, I love the way that it is now it's bam 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 it's awesome it's before just absolutely awesome and what we're alluding to probably showing our age but if we have some younger viewers that have always known volleyball this way is you used to you could only score when your team was serving and yes. so that's how you got your points and now it doesn't matter who's serving 
you can earn a point, and it makes the games go by so much quicker. There's no, yeah. Oh my goodness, a mistake on the backside for Frankfurt, and Cry West has already jumped on top of the dogs in this one, five to one. That miss hit there, and Coach Rushton is, has seen enough. She needs a timeout here, five to one the score. And she is basically pleading with her team right now. And you know, for head coach, I think this would be one of the tougher sports to coach, in my opinion, because in my opinion, the way that I work is I'm looking down and I'm saying, guys, we were right there in game number one. We won game number two. What happened? Why why did we lose 25 to 14 in game three and now we're down five to one? It's the same team that we just beat a game ago. We're, you know, much like tennis, I think that would drive me crazy if I was trying to uh, coach somebody up or play in that sport. Well, one of the things I, I've seen tonight, at least from Tri-West, is their depth. And I'm not A lot quite, of rotation going on. Yeah, a lot of rotation. I'm not quite sure if Coach Aguilar is doing this simply because they played a match last night. And maybe Frankfurt's a little bit rusty. I mean, the, the last time they played was a loss to West Lafayette, and that was about three, four, five days ago. Yeah, I mean, you would... Tri-West hammers another one home here. You would think that this would have been the Frankfurt we would have seen early on with a new setter stepping in and kind of maybe just some lack of communication and slow rotations, things of that nature. But it's actually happening later in the match. So we saw Frankfurt be better early on and now start to fade. 6-1, your score, Again, and now 7-1. Fatigue, and I think conditioning is really coming to play here. I think you can see that Tri-West is the is maybe right now the better team, the 5'7 sophomore, Lindsey Springer having her way, serving it. Springer's got to dial in and find some focus here. Stare it with the dig that time. Hey, I like that play by Adamson, almost caught the Bruins off guard. The play at the net, that time a miss hit though. A lot of unforced errors here, that one by Adamson, the center, try to dink it over the top, hit it right in the net. Keeps this one alive for Springer. The timing a little bit off there, and Roberts had to pause before putting, or excuse me, Timmons before putting a swing into that. Hit it a little long, 9-1. There's no doubt the speed of the game has changed dramatically when you can score a point on every possession. But the game hasn't changed. The attention to detail is still extremely important, and conditioning plays a huge role in this one. And I think Tri-West has the uh, driver's seat right now. Right now you can see the juice is flowing on one side of the net, yeah. and on the other side, I think you're right, tired, because you're seeing a lot. It looks like feet and concrete. Nobody's really moving for Frankfurt, rotating very well right now. And Coach Rushton, again, another quick timeout pleading with the, the squad. It's now or never, down 10 to 1. And I think with Frankfurt, again, I said this early on, if, if we can see uh, Chloe Roberts, number seven, and Ashley Timmons, number five, come on fire, it seems like they elevate the level play. But when they're not playing as well, uh, the hot dogs don't play as well. And right now, Tri-West is serving well, they're receiving well, they're passing well, doing everything that it takes to win a match. But as you mentioned, it could turn on a dime. I think Frankfurt... For me, I'd be talking to them, just be technically sound. Don't try to do too much. Just clean, crisp passing. See if you can get Try West to make some mistakes. Good set here. Mm. That set was too close to the net. It was almost impossible for Chloe Roberts to catch up with. No, I said it and I wanted to take it back. Good set because it looked like it was going to be <laughs> yeah. perfect and yeah. it just kept drifting. Yeah. Somebody turned a fan on on this end of the gym is what happened. <laughs> It's my story, I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Adams, <laughs> the pass, just punched across there from Timmons. Big swing by Duffy, now was it touched? It, it was, touched. was touched. Yep, it was touched. Duffy with another kill. She has been sensational tonight's match, hitting over 378 for the season. I tell you, when she winds up, you may end up with a bruise. Ball was touched, so Frankfurt gets the point, I believe. There you go, 12 to your score. Now Adamson will head back to the uh, service line here for the hot dogs. And for Frankfurt, I think what they've got to understand, too, is they're just as capable of going on a run like this 
mm -hmm. and getting back into it, but it's one point in a time. I heard you say that earlier, Mike. That's what it is. And, and there, there it is. is. There's one, another one. And now if you're coach, you say, again, again, just keep doing the same mm -hmm. thing. 12 to three. Trailing by nine are the dogs here. Nice wow. serve. Great job by Adamson. Wow. <laughs> Found no man's land right there. I believe that is called a campfire in the volleyball terminology. That one long. Yeah. So Frankfurt has now rattled off four straight. 12-5 your score. Solid set. I believe that was Jenna Hill, but the hit was long. Oh, that's an ace. Perfect placement. Two aces here for Adamson. She's starting to go. We're starting to see some momentum yeah. build for Frankfurt. This is such a crazy sport, <laughs> Mike. <It's, laughs> I'm telling you. Try West trying to find someone to silence this run here from Frankfurt. Back corner was open momentarily. The dink. Frankfurt's there. Adamson, that one drifted too far mm. into the net. Tough set. Yep. Tough set for Frankfurt, and Tri West made them pay. Number six, Jolie Owens. That's like an all you can eat buffet coming at you. You're like, please hit it <laughs> long. I'm going to tee off. She did right there. Serve for Tri West. Back row for Frankfurt. Timmons got enough of a swing on that one to earn the point. Substitution here. Number 12, uh, McKenna Hagemeyer comes in for Tri West. Wow. Big hit there. What a kill by Duffy there. I believe it was Brahman actually, was Mike, Brahman? number nine. Wow. That was tremendous. Wound up and drilled that one home. And I was taking a look at the uh, populations for the Indiana counties. And Hendricks right now is seventh in the state. I think almost 200,000 people live in Hendricks County. And uh, Tri West is in the northwest corner of the county. And that county is really starting to grow. And I'm assuming Tri West and Danville will be beneficiaries of this. Left handed serve. That was tough there, the, the pass going to the setter, too close to the net. 16 to seven now. Tri-West would like to close things out right here in game number four. I don't have the statistics in front of me, but Jen Springer, who's serving number one, has a slew of, of service points in today's match for uh, Tri-West. She's, she's been really good. Yeah, I agree. All, also, coming in, over 100 digs on the season. That's why she wears that alternate jersey. Wow, that's a kill. Looked like, like yeah, that may have been it in. out. It counted, yep. Frankfurt needed a break here, and they'll get one. 17 to 8 the score. Such a legendary gymnasium here, Case Arena, one of the best in the state in my opinion. I know I'm partial because I went here, but in all honesty, when I was here, I didn't think anything about how good it was. It wasn't mm. until later that you realize, mm. well, wait, they, they brought a movie here to film inside <laughs> this gym and talking about blue chips and, you know, it's one of the largest gyms in the in the state, ranked in, in the state. Having been all over the state, literally I've been in all four corners in every gym uh, for every ranked team in the state uh, for basketball and volleyball. This, you're, I don't disagree with you. This is one of the best places to watch a sporting event. There's not I mean, a bad it's not, seat in the house. No, it's not. It's not the biggest place, but it's the best place. It's just awesome. It's, it's you're right on top of the action. There's no obstructions at all, and they've done a great job remodeling this place. Now, obviously, Newcastle, kind of one of the great venues in the entire nation to take in a game. But for me and my money, I like the way Case is laid out. 
Yep, and I like the way the it's laid out in terms of parking because I've been to Newcastle many, many, <laughs> many times, and the parking there is miserable. If you don't get there early, you're in trouble. You got to park two, three, four miles away. We got to bus you in. <laughs> yeah. Great rally here for both squads. Good pass. Some dink, somebody trying to get a big swing on one, oh and there it was. Goodness. Right in the middle, it was 14. Emma Swadner came in the lineup, the senior 5'8", hammered the ball in the back end for the kill. Nineteen to nine for Tri West, needing just six points here to close this one out, and they'll get one here. And I really think Tri West in this match at this point has really worn down Frankfurt. You could just tell on the court, as you mentioned, they just don't have the electricity or the energy that they had in the first two sets of this match. Well, it looked like they had rejuvenated just a little bit. They went on that run. They got some points back, but you're. You're right, Mike. Now trailing by 11, it seems like it's kind of uh, just vanished from the building. Yep. Try West, all momentum on their side right now, 21 to nine. Solid serving by McKenna Brahman, number nine, five ten. For these hot dogs, they get no rest, Mike. They turn right around, they go to Lebanon tomorrow, which I know Lebanon across all sports is probably one of Frankfurt's biggest rivals. Has been for many, many years. Tigers are seven and three right now in volleyball, one and two in the conference. They lost to Crawfordsville, three nothing back on September 3rd. Crawfordsville, seven and five this year on the season, one and zero oh in the conference. Try West a little long that time, 22 to 10, your score. Southmont only loss of the season was last night. In the five set match at Tri West, they are nine and one right now. Well, that's a big victory for Tri West then, huh? Mm -hmm. Going to Southmont, beat an undefeated team. 23 to 10, Tri West looks like they are cruising to a victory here. They'll get to 500 on the season, season to be seven and seven overall. Danville's nine and five this year. Their lone loss was to Tri West back on August 20th in the three straight sets. Duffy again, over the top. Called her name quite often tonight, but what we've seen, honestly, Mike, we alluded to it in the pregame, the balanced attack. You had four girls with 67 plus kills coming in to tonight, and we've seen all four of them, Duffy, Owens, Brahman, Patterson, just be relentless. No matter where they were at in the rotation, they've all gotten their swings in tonight. And with the exception of that particular serve there by Emma Swadner, they've been very good serving throughout the course of this match tonight. Timmons with the serve. Frankfurt looks to try to keep their hopes alive here. Good battle at the net. Try West will play it back across. Quick set there, send over. Nice job by Adamson with the left-handed dink and another point for the Hot Dogs. 24 to 12. Timmons, yep. a little long. And unfortunately, that's how this one's gonna end here tonight. Try West takes this final game four, 25. To 12, they win this one three games to one. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll wrap things up from Frankfurt High School right here on the ISC Sports Network. Running a small business. Your hands are full. We can help. Fiberhawk partners with local companies by providing business class internet, phone, TV, and customized bundles to meet your needs. Our fiber-powered system delivers reliable speed with enhanced security. Running a business is tough. Contact FiberHawk today and let our expert team give you a hand. We welcome you back here to Case Arena as we wrap things up as our post-game show here 
on the ISC Sports Network. Our post game tonight brought to us by our Dente Dental. Healthy smile start here. Call to schedule your next appointment, 765-654-7222. Se habla espanol. Mike, your final thoughts on this one is Tri-West wins three games to one against Frankfurt. Great effort by Tri-West coming off of that big victory over Southmont last night. Keys in this one, they won the battle up front. Megan Duffy led her team to this victory. She's an outstanding player, number four. And I thought Jen Springer, number one, did a good job serving and playing defense for Coach Aguilar's ball club. For Tri-West, they improved to 7-7 seven and seven on the season. More importantly for them, they had three straight conference games. They got a win at Southmont, at Frankfurt. Next up, September 16th at North Montgomery. So they get a little bit of time to rest, maybe heal up themselves, and they'll be going against another conference opponent, try to make it three straight on the road. For the dogs, we talked about it. They'll fall to 5-5 uh, five and five on the season. They're up again tomorrow night against their rival in Lebanon. The dogs need to heal up a little bit, but I thought they played well tonight. I want to thank our student crew here tonight from Frankfurt Hot Dog TV and the Hot Dog TV Network. For Michael Linsky, I'm Sean Walker. You've been watching IHSA Volleyball on the ISC Sports Network. <laughs>